Hello and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Adobe Tutorial Man. Today I'll be teaching you on how to uh, use uh, Motion Tween. Uh, this can be used with Action Script 2.0 or Action Script yeah. 3.0. But CS4, I'm not sure if CS4, um, I'll, I'll tell you yeah. later on what's wrong with it. So let's go. Uh, let's go to Action Script 2.0. Alright. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, uh, a ball, any kind of ball. I'm gonna make a 3D ball, cause you have to do something, All right? Then for 3D, little white, make this red. Oops, make this red. Right, there's your ball. And then right there, that, that's your 3D. That's my 3D ball. Um, and the thing about um, uh, CS4 it doesn't have add motion guide. That's the really, really bad part about this whole thing. Uh, we're gonna go on frame 16, click insert keyframe, and on this we're going to basically move this, and we're gonna make this all the way over here. So front, right here, is gonna be like this. Over here, is gonna be like this. So for control enter, you'll, oops. Uh, and also forgot you have to right click and click create a motion tween. All right. So as you see, the ball moves, and that's that. And next, I'm going to show you on how do you uh, do a guide, how to make a guide align. So we're gonna do that. And this, we're going to create a line. Where is this? And also, this has to be a movie clip. If you're gonna do this, I'll name it. I'll just leave a symbol one. So we're gonna click this. I'm just gonna make a line and stuff, basically. And then back here, we're gonna make sure that oops, a symbol one is on right on that dot and same over here we want this to be right there all right now since we have that right click on this and click say create a motion tween this way it will follow the path and it will not you'll not see the line or so control enter she has the ball follows the line see it goes here down curve and it comes right she's right there and another way of doing this is just clicking into its actions and doing it, do it from in there. That's another shorter way instead of wasting all, all the timelines in there. You can do some pretty cool, good effects. So um, that's that's motion tween. Uh, and in my next tutorial, I'll teach you on how to use um, let's see, uh, the other one, uh, create sh shape tween. It's really cool. Um, so. Bye.